ability to deal with the issue of money will determine our ability to grow as clinicians. You're going to be impacted by this every single day of your lives. We're going to be seeing an opportunity for implant dentistry and suddenly that question is going to come out. And what's the question, guys? Let's hear it. What's the next question they'll ask? That's expensive. They'll also say, I can get it cheaper exactly somewhere else. Then you'll work through that and then they might say, can I have a discount, discount right? Then they'll say, once they've dealt with all that, they're gonna keep grabbing at straws and then the issue of someone yelled it out. Then the issue of insurance is gonna come up. This is the dilemma. Once you have created value, that means quality of life benefits, how you'll live and feel. Once you've created value, then you have to develop an attitude about money itself. What we have to do in the profession of dentistry is we have to learn how to think about money. Secondly, I think what we have to do is we have to understand how money behaves in the minds of other people. When we're selling implant dentistry, what they're buying is happiness. Happiness served through the medium of dentistry. Take the microscope off the money itself, right, and shine the spotlight on the value that it brings into their life. And I'll show you how to do that. Patients are feeling beings. That means they feel their way through life. And then what catches up? They're thinking. The moment they say to themselves, I can't afford it, we have to understand that this is not a barrier. This is an invitation. This is where your opportunity now kicks in. People find money for things that they value. A Bulgarian family. They were on social assistance, but here's the thing. Both of them smoked a pack and a half of cigarettes per day. Where did they get the money? I went to buy a blender one time and there's, you know, $150 and there's $550. And I says to the woman, uh, can you tell me the difference? Which one looks better? I'm like, uh, this one. She says, 550. And which one do you think will? Last you got it, last longer. So I'm looking at her and, and I've forgotten now what, that I'm buying a blender. And, and I'm just thinking about dentistry and I'm thinking, is it any different? Think about it. When the issue of price comes up, the only argument that will really impact them emotionally is when you take the microscope off the and shine the spotlight on ballpark fees. You know what I mean by that? So it's better to tell people, you know, in order to help you, you know, regain the feeling of having your own natural teeth, it will cost in the neighborhood of 15 to $20,000. That's expensive compared to what? What have you heard? What were you hoping it would cost? I can get it cheaper. You know, yes, you can get it cheaper. And you know what, Bob? I bet you can even get it cheaper than that. But at what point do you think, Bob, that the money you save will be reflected in the quality of the result that you have to live with every day from that point forward? If they say, can I have a discount? Instead of saying no, just say, that's how much it costs to have an implant that will Last a long time? Function well? Feel comfortable in your mouth? And look good for you for years to come. It's a wonder what implant therapy can actually do for the people that we serve. When we focus on it and when we place the value on it, then the whole concept of discussing money becomes more powerful.